In this video, I'm going to be showing you the actual best ways to escape the police in ERC as of the start of 2024. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. So of course, loads of you guys know that there are loads and loads of amazing hiding spots that you can hide in in ERC that are really, really good. But I'm going to show you some of the best ones. So I've got about five on this list here, but of course, there's also many, many others. Like for example, you could park your car back here and you could run inside of that house there and someone probably wouldn't even notice you and if you want to be even more discreet you could trick the police maybe park your car over there in the barn or over by one of them houses and then just run over here into one of these houses that's completely fine as well even if you don't want to buy it just smash the window run inside and you can hide i guess that's one of the little hiding spots that you can do but to start off this actual list we have right here in the farms postal 601 slash 604 i know this is a snowy map if you're watching this when the snow is not here of course these hiding spots are still the same in the same location so do not worry about that so these fields over here are the exact ones i'm talking about right now bear in mind you have to you can't go in these little ones here because they can't really they don't really hide you and then ones over there you can't even drive in anyway but these bigger ones over here you can drive in and if you just stop in the middle as you can see no one can see you're here obviously no one else sees my little voice chat logo so ignore that but as you can see nobody even knows i'm here you literally can't see me unless you actually drive into this and drive under it which to be fair doesn't happen very often not too many people even check this anymore of course if you do drive in as you can see you will be able to see like the little tire tracks from your vehicle as you can see there but as soon as you stop they will go away as you can see they've gone away now so this is a very very good hiding spot and of course you can hide in this one as well and the good thing about this is you have multiple places to go after this so if the police are coming from over there you can either go left and then left and then onto the highway you can go straight straight past the prison you can go right you can go through the barn or even better you can come through here sneak through this little fence and go straight out over there in a place where no one really goes on the map or you can come up here there's so many different routes you can take to escape the police it's a very very good hiding spot for that reason let's move on to the next one which is actually just straight inside of the sheriff's office or the police station even if you think about it the police aren't going to check their own station so you will have to park your car somewhere out of the way you could maybe park at a house maybe buy one of those houses down there that have a garage and park it in the garage and you no one will know you're here and then run inside and you want to go in one of the rooms that the least people go in so i kind of recommend this room and then if you kind of come over here around the back and then you can kind of like sit down and hide yourself in the corner and it's unlikely that people are actually going to see you here because in reality when was the last time you actually came in this room and checked if someone was hiding behind the desk like it doesn't happen no one really checks here so you find of course there's other places you can go as well you can come in maybe not here it's the entrance maybe you could run through here and like hide behind the desk as well but then you got there's a few different places you can hide in here just make sure you choose the best one for you of course you can do the same with the police station and the fire station and the dot place and you can hide in like the hair salon for example you can hide in the clothing shop little places like that are just the best ways to go now the next one is actually something very very unique so if you are being chased by the police helicopter that's one of the worst things you can get happen to you in ERC because honestly there's not much you can really do except there is one thing that is very very awesome for example if you if the police helicopter is on top of you right you can drive into the mod shop and it will teleport you away completely far away and then it will send the helicopter far far away from where you actually are because it thinks that your character is somewhere completely different because as you can see it does teleport you as you can see i'm in the middle of nowhere there for a split second and it stays there until it opens the menu so when you go in the mod shop it teleports your character your avatar to a completely random place on the map which will then send the helicopter over there so then one when all of the police are distracted by where the helicopter's going you can then come out of the mod shop and you're good or even you can just stay in the mod shop and you will be fine because they can't actually get you that way if they do get too close to you it might kick you out of the mod shop but if you get in there quick enough either the one in the city or the one in uh, springfield if you get in the mod shop quick enough then the helicopter will immediately just teleport away anyway before the police are even there so they won't get too close to you because they won't think you're in there only a few people know about that as well so it is definitely a very very good one and very very overpowered if you know how to use it correctly that is what you need to do if you have the police helicopter on you alternatively if you have the police helicopter on you the only thing you can really do is try and shoot it down 
or just keep driving. If you know you can't get into a mod shop for whatever reason, then make sure you have fuel. As soon as you see that notification, drive straight over to a fuel station. I recommend having like probably no less fuel than I have right now. So you wanna aim for about half fuel as a minimum. A little bit less is fine, but you don't know how long the police are gonna be chasing you for after, or you don't know how fast you're gonna be going or how much you're gonna be driving. So definitely make sure you've got enough fuel. If you've got less than half fuel, I would make your priority to go straight to the fuel station as soon as you see the helicopters on you before the police can even catch up to you and then you can just drive around and hope that your driving skills come in clutch if they do start chasing you with the helicopter take different roads do not go on roads where they will spike strip you for example don't just head straight down here and then onto the highway because there's self spike strips on the highway you want to be heading kind of in and out here then maybe do a little turn around here just like this don't crash like that but then <laughs> do a little turn here then maybe go right here and don't just go in a straight line keep making as many turns as you can maybe switch to the other side here then here then go through here don't go on the road then you can cut back out here come around here you get the idea just drive around and take as many corners as you possibly can as soon as you go on a straight they will get ready with a spike strip or like I said, just shoot the helicopter down. Now the next one is over by the river slash water. What you can do is you can just hide in the river and swim away. For example, you can just ditch your car like here, for example, and you could just run and swim under here. For example, if I run over here, this won't work if the helicopter's on you, but if the helicopter's not on you, then you can literally just run under here and then like hide down here for example in like this little hiding spot here it's like literally like made to hide in like you see how good this is if you can manage to wedge yourself into this little hiding spot here then it is really really op and you will be good and then instead of having to hold yourself here if you press the slash whilst holding w or whatever button you want to it will bring up the chat but it will keep you moving at the same time so i'm not pressing anything on my keyboard right now but i'm still the game still thinks i'm holding w if that makes sense and even if you just look you can't even see me in the water here. even if you jump in it is quite difficult especially if you get a camouflaged avatar and of course you can do this in the river or the lake or wherever you want to do it it will work the same just stay at the bottom and hide under the water and finally the last one is probably the best one out of them all and this one is to be undercover now i don't mean be undercover on police i mean just act like a civilian for example spawn in a really really cheap looking normal civilian car or just a car that isn't heavily modified just like this drive around follow the traffic rules follow the speed limit 30 miles an hour for example you can maybe get away with 40 depends how risky you want to be stop at red lights use your indicators go at green lights etc be very careful don't crash into people and just drive properly and the police will most likely just drive straight past you because they're looking for criminals and when they look for a criminal especially in a public server they're just going to be looking for whoever's reckless driving so if you drive normally then you will be completely fine and the police won't even suspect anything on you so you will be very very fine and that is a very good way to escape the police as well you could do it in any car but i do recommend doing it in like noob cars maybe or just just a different car to what the police know you have otherwise they'll just know that you're in that car so make sure it's a different car at least but i would sort of also try and recommend you get a fast ish car as well so that if they do notice you you can still floor it and escape them this car is fairly fast to be fair but obviously you can get fast ones like the hellcat or something it's up to you that is all for this video i really really hope this helped some of you out if it did please do let me know in the comments below let me know what other videos you want to see as well so i am struggling a little bit on video ideas but thank you very much for watching check out everything else in the description and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye